So what's the MiHoGo Mini e-bike? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. Today we're gonna check out the ultra compact MiHoGo Mini electric bike, a fun little ride that's been gaining some buzz with its unique design. We'll talk about the looks, performance, and portability, as well as do a full walkthrough and first ride. So let's get to it. First things first, the MiHoGo Mini doesn't look like anything else out there. It features a dual balance, arch-shaped, yellow carbon steel frame that definitely turns heads. There's also space within the frame to add a bag for transporting items, as well as a cushion for small children to sit up front. There's even mounting points to install pegs as a footrest. The 12-inch tires might seem a little small, but that's part of what makes it perfect for weaving through tight spots. And did I mention the foldable handlebar stem? Well, that's what makes it ultra compact. The MiHoGo Mini has a 350-watt brushless hub motor that has a decent top speed, and because of its size, it's extremely nimble on turns. It also features mechanical disc brakes, which are fine for this level of power. Additionally, the 48 volt, 16 amp hour removable battery, powered by Samsung LG cells, gives you solid range. MiHoGo claims you can hit up to 55 miles on a single charge, and if you're light and stick mainly to flat roads, you might reach those numbers. But if you're tackling hills, or you're on the heavier side, you might see those digits drop a bit. Just remember, your mileage may vary based on your weight, the terrain you're tackling, and how much you're pedaling versus letting the motor do all the work. Here it is, the MiHoGo Mini. So we saw this thing a couple months ago. It looked really, really interesting. This is meant for, I guess, utility-minded people, families, that kind of thing. So we'll just do a walkthrough of all the parts. Obviously the frame here is really unique. It's an arch-shaped design, bright yellow. It comes in different colors. We chose the yellow just because it was closest to orange. You have these mounting points for pegs. So you have front, you wanna put a kid here, and their feet rests on there, or the back if you have a passenger who's sitting in the back, or if you like to stand up when you're riding. This is the seat cushion. It doesn't really have any attachments or a way to attach it to the frame. Inside of the frame, you have this basket that it comes with. You can see we have an integrated front fender and an integrated rear fender. We also have these 12 inch tires, really, really tiny tires. These are like scooter sized tires. You do have mechanical disc brakes and this tiny suspension. I've never seen a suspension fork this small before. You have an integrated integrated headlight over here, very bright. So here you have an adjustable stem so you can, you know, make it smaller or higher. I don't know if you'd want to make it that small since the bike is pretty tiny. And this also collapses down for portability. Unhook that, collapse the stem, and this folds all the way down. And you could probably move the saddle in. On the handlebar, we have these rubber ergonomic grips, left-hand LCD display, it is in color. You have a little bell and then the mechanical disc brake levers. I did have to adjust these because they were hitting my knuckles. And you have a right hand half twist throttle. So this is a single speed. There's no shifting system at all. The saddle is pretty comfortable and it does adjust pretty high. If you're a taller rider, this bike may not be for you. And here we have a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery, which is removable. I'm probably have to take the saddle off. Remove the plug. There you go, 48 volt, 16 amp power. So not that heavy. And if you get another battery pack, you'll get more range. So to put it back in, you line it up with this rail. And then you lock it, put the plug back in. You also have these folding pedals. So these are good for when you're transporting it in the car. Plenty of mounts to add attachments like a rear rack or a seat. You also have an integrated rear tail light that does light up when you hit the brakes. And in the rear is a 350 watt brushless hub motor. So the total weight of the bike is 42 pounds. So it's pretty light for an electric vehicle, but it is pretty substantial if you're carrying this up a flight of stairs or something. And the frame is steel. So that's what adds to the weight. And you kind of want steel for something this small. ride with the Mahogo Mini for a turn the bike on and you do have five levels of pedal assist. We'll just take it up to five, why not? We're gonna be daring. And if you hold down the plus button, that's how you turn on the headlights. Okay, this is how I look on the bike. Obviously I'm a short rider, so it doesn't look that small on me, although it does look kind of small. So you can imagine someone twice my size might look a little bit different sitting on here. So here we go. So yeah, really smooth. The controller tune is really smooth. It doesn't really jerk you too much. The pedaling, pedaling is, you know, it works, but it does feel a little unnatural. 
I am hitting these little branches here and felt like uh, I was losing control. <laughs> Just because I'm not used to 12 inch wheels. These are like scooter wheels, essentially. So let's do a little top speed run. So here we go. 11, 12, 17, 18, 20. Now I am at 20, 22 and 22 miles per hour top speed. Uphill is about 13, 13 miles per hour top speed uphill. You're probably not supposed to be standing on these pegs. It's just for passengers. I don't even know it's supposed to hold my weight. Let's try these brakes out. Mechanical disc brakes. So first impressions of the Mihogo Mini, pretty fun. I thought I would look really ridiculous on it. Maybe I did, but I didn't feel like it because it's just a lot of fun to ride. It seems pretty safe for beginners, although the smaller wheels at higher speeds tend to feel a little bit wobbly just because you don't have as much surface area with the larger wheel. So when you turn, if you do a sharp turn, you're gonna feel the bike get kind of wobbly and out of control. But if you're used to riding scooters, it's kind of like a similar thing. So just nice wide turn. Try not to go too fast on this thing. It's just not really meant for that. But in terms of like utility, it really looks like a bike that's made for carrying a lot of stuff. It may not look like it. There's plenty of mounts here to add attachments, to add like a basket over here. Let's say you're a college student and you're trying to get to your class and there's like a lot of people in your way. This is kind of good to like maneuver and not be super obnoxious with a full-size bike. Overall, not bad. Mahogo Mini. With an integrated headlight and taillight, you'll be visible once nighttime hits. The front suspension fork takes the edge off uneven terrain, making your ride a little smoother. The color HD IPS display with smartphone navigation is definitely a cool feature. On the right is a half twist throttle with five levels of pedal assist. Now let's talk concerns. While the Mahogo Mini is all about being compact and nimble, it might not be the best fit for everyone. If you're on the larger side, the frame in those 12 inch tires could make you feel like a circus bear. Also, we did notice a weird wobbling effect on the front suspension fork while Breaking. Overall, Mihogo Mini is a fun compact e-bike that's made for portability. It's got the looks, the power, and the space-saving features to make your daily grind a bit more exciting. But remember, if you're on the taller side, you might want to take this little guy for a test ride first. So whether you're zipping through traffic or doing a casual ride, Mihogo Mini is definitely worth considering. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.